not. You choose to be seated. You choose to be lying down. in the eyes when you feel ready. Let's take a few breaths through the mouth, inhaling in through the nose and letting it out through the mouth. Just feel that release. Relaxing, the jaw loosens. Letting your breath come back to feeling natural. And letting go of any effort to try and control or change the breath. Letting it happen. Letting the body just be in this space. settles down. Feeling your thoughts starting to settle down. Allow the awareness to start to drop down into the body. Letting your awareness spread from head to toe. sensations against your skin. Notice the temperature of the room, the fabric of your clothing, the texture of the mat. Just taking in whatever your body is offering. to breathing a little deeper into the belly. Making the inhales longer. The exhales deeper. your thoughts. 
that's beginning to drift off. Gently guide them back to your breath. serve as your guide, as an anchor for the practice today. transition from where you are on your mat onto your hands and knees, maybe keeping the eyes closed for the transition, keeping each movement deliberate, intentional, maintaining awareness of your breath. Toes tuck under the shoulders over the wrists, hips over knees, push into the hands, push into your feet, taking the knees off the mat just a few inches as you feel your belly button pulling in towards the spine, pushing the earth away with your hands, bring the head level with the spine, and filling up into your back body, filling up into your lower and mid back as well as the shoulders, while the hands firmly press down into the mat, the fingers spread. The legs are active here the quads working and breathing for three equal pressure between the hands two and one as you exhale go ahead and relax the knees down inhale to start arching the low back draw the belly down open chest and looking forward or looking up as you inhale and exhale begin to tuck into your spine chin to your chest as you push the earth away Rounding your back, moving with your breath. Inhale, look to your back bend. Feel the shoulders pulling away from the ears as your chest moves forward. And with the exhale, feel your tailbone reaching down as you push the earth away. And letting your head reach down towards the mat. Continue opening up your spine, moving at your pace. Big inhales and deep exhales. Feel free to throw in any side to side or circular movement if that feels good. Feel to point the back toes you can, knee to 
double up on your mat for some extra cushion, go ahead and do that. Relax into the shoulders and lunging nice and deep here. Feel that stretch moving into your left hip flexors. From here, if you like, you can bring your palms together at chest center. Arms nice and close to the body. If you'd like to go a little further, you can start to lift the chest. Taking your gaze to the ceiling as the pelvis continues to lower down, lifting the chest. Maximize that stretch for the hip flexors. And then with the inhale, it starts to come back towards a neutral spine, releasing both hands on the inside of your right foot. Let's have that right arm, right leg pushing into each other, tucking your left toes under. Let's take that back knee off the mat. We're going to ground left heel, turning your toes out to the side, setting up for a side angle. If you want to puff up onto your right fingertips here, you can open the chest and reach up with your left fingertips, opening across your wingspan, leaning back through the head and shoulders, pressing evenly between both feet. You feel that right arm, right leg connection really active here, choosing a point for your focus, up at your left hand, down at your right. Feel the strength in your back leg as you root down through the outer edge of the left foot. start to release our way out of the side angle pose bringing both hands onto the mat picking up the back heel as you ground the knee framing the foot with your hands from here we're going to switch the legs as you lift the back knee stepping your right foot back left foot coming into the center setting up into your lunge nice and easy with your fingers together on the left thigh relax the shoulders go ahead and find your comfort in this position your shoulders relax letting your pelvis sink and then if you like to bring the palms together at chest center lifting your chest and looking up and think about creating space as you inhale space in the front of your torso as you lift the chest and then releasing your tailbone down towards the floor as you exhale side of your left foot tucking your right toes under keep that left knee left arm connection solid right knee lift to ground the heel and open the chest sending your right hand upwards if you need to bring a block underneath your left hand you can if you want to pop up onto the fingertips if the floor feels like it's a little far away and leaning back into your head reaching up with your right hand while the left leg and arm press into each other and that right leg roots down. over the wrists, heels over toes, filling up into your back body as you scoop the low belly in and reach the heels back. From here, go ahead and relax the knees down onto the mat, pointing your toes. From here, arch the low back, lifting your tailbone upwards, and then exhale to bend the elbows, bringing your chin and chest on the mat with the hips lifted, and then moving the hips from side to side. As you exhale lower, inhale to lift, Exhale to the other side, inhale back to center. Wagging your tailbone, letting the hips go a little bit further each time. Nice release for the glutes, the low back, and giving your spine some lateral movement as well. And let's start to come back towards center. Slide the feet back, pointing your toes. Walk the hands down the mat so the elbows are stacking above the wrists. Spreading your fingers, lift the heads of the shoulders off the mat and bring the elbows close to the body as you squeeze the shoulder blades together. Setting up for your back bend as you inhale. Push into the hands, lift the chest, looking ahead. We'll keep the elbows 
bent and close to the body as you pull the chest forward, roll the shoulders back and create that space across the collarbones. Maybe inhale to lift a little bit higher. Nice and easy with the breath, creating space. And exhale to start easing your way back down onto the mat. From here, tucking your toes under, let's begin to pull the belly button off the mat and towards your spine. And then we're going to push into the hands this time. The core stays active, knees on the mat, lift the chest, lift the hips. And then start to send the seat back as you push into your toes, take the knees up and then lift the seat for downward facing dog. Getting your body accustomed to this pose as you pedal the feet, maybe move the hips from side to side. At the same time, you're spreading your fingers and pushing the earth away with your hands so your chest move towards your legs. Feel that stretch through the back of your legs and your calf and hamstrings. Maybe even the side body if you're moving the hips laterally. start to find some stillness in your downward dog. Go ahead and look ahead as you inhale between the hands and then exhale to take your time as you walk your feet towards the front of your mat. As you reach the top of the mat, feet are hip-width distance, keeping the knees slightly bent. Release the head down towards the floor. You can grab onto opposite elbows and rock your torso from side to side. Feeling your head stay heavy, the neck muscles are loose. And you can nod back and forth, shake side to side. Maybe adding a sway as well. You can stretch into the low back and the oblique muscles. And without locking out the knees, think about lifting your seat away from the floor. You'll feel the weight shifting forward into your toe mounds. And the hamstrings getting a nice stretch here. If you're swaying side to side, come back to center. And let go of the elbows. On the next breath in, hands on shins, come up halfway as you inhale, flat back. Exhale, sweep the release back down, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale one more time, halfway lift, press the hands into the shins, straightening your spine, moving the shoulders away from the ears. And exhale to release back. On the next breath in, press through the feet, come all the way up to standing as you reach with your fingers, turn the palms together. Stay grounded from the feet. And exhale, bring the hands down from your chest center. From the top of the mat, with your feet hip width distance, setting up for sun salutation as you inhale, lift the arms overhead, and then exhale, hinge from the hips, holding all the way down. With your breath, inhale, back in. Exhale, plant the palms, you're going to transition your way back into a high plank. If you want to move through Chaturanga, go ahead and add that transition with the exhale. Bend the elbows, lower down with control as you push from the ankles, moving your body forward and up, open chest, roll the shoulders back. Knees can be down or up, your choice. And then exhale to lift the seat, tucking your toes under, coming into downward facing dog. Try not to shorten the length of your down dog, keeping the hands and the feet in the same position that they were for your plank. Inhale to pick up the right leg, lift it up. And nice big swing on the exhale, swing your leg forward, bring it Bring the foot between the hands, setting up into the low lunge, and then inhale, lift the arms overhead, high lunge. Bring the palms together at your chest center. Scissor into your hips here as you pull the right hip back, the left hip pushing forward. Nice strong through that back leg, begin to lift the chest up. Maybe the head drops back a little bit. If you wish to go a little further from here, you can your hands up and reach them towards the back wall. Try to keep the shoulders pulling away from the ears. If your chest lifts, your tailbone reaches down. If your hands are reaching upwards, start to bring them down towards your chest one more time. And then inhale to come back to a neutral spine. And here we're going to lean forward. 
pausing at 45 as you keep that low belly pulled in, palms together at chest center. And then from here, that back leg is going to lift. We're going to step all the way to the front of your mat. You step it in one go, bringing the big toes together and the heels slightly apart. Bringing the knees together, palms are pressing into each other and sitting into a chair, Uttakasana. Weight is in the heels. Let's lift the seat, tuck your tailbone down nice and strong and breathe for three, two, and one. Push through the heels, come up standing. Shake out the legs. Setting up for one more. Sun salutation with some modifications. Feet are hip width distance. Standing in your Tadasana, feeling strong, feeling stable. And then on the inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, hinge from the hips, that long spine folding all the way down, forward fold. Inhale, coming up halfway. Exhale, plant the palms, transition from here. If you're hopping back when you land, elbows at 90 in your chaturanga arms. Inhale, lift, open the chest. Exhale, lift the seat and stretch the back body. Hands are shoulder width, feet are hip width. Arms are by the ears and the seat is reaching up and away from the floor. Inhale, lift the left leg for three-legged. And exhale, as you swing your leg forward, bring the foot between the hands, scissor into the legs. And as you stabilize, begin to lift the shoulders above the hips and the arms are reaching up. Take your time here, feeling your feet rooting down, your legs are active. Then bring the palms together at chest center. Begin to lift the chest, draw your belly in, tailbone reaching down, coming into a back bend. Keeping the muscles in your legs working the whole time. And if you wish to extend the hands up over the head and reach them behind you, you can. Helping to just take that stretch a little deeper, perhaps. back to your chest, coming into neutral spine, and then hinge from the hips, pausing at 45s, and then from here that back leg is going to lift and you step to the top of the mat. With your big toes together, the heels apart, bend both knees as you come into Utkatasana, and really focusing here on squeezing your thighs together, feeling your adductor muscles really working and strong through your core as well. Not letting your lower back arch, but keeping it tilting down, breathing here. Three, squeeze the knees together, two, and one as you inhale, push through the heels, come up, and then shake out the legs. Whew. Leg muscles are working here. Let's bring a little heat to the body, moving through some flows back at the top of the mat. Inhale, lift the arms, and exhale, folding forward. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, plant the palms. Transition from here to your plank through chaturanga or straight into your downward dog. Choosing and modifying your transitions as needed. As you come into your downward dog, inhale, picking up the right leg. Bend the knee, begin to rotate that hip. And while you're opening the right hip, you're trying to close out the right shoulder. So your shoulders are side by side. Feel that right hip opening and stacking over the left, pointing the right toes, and inhale, square the hips, on the exhale, swing your leg forward, bringing the foot between the hands. From here, we're going to ground into the back heel, and then bring the right arm on the inside of your right leg. Coming into your side angle pose from here one more time, leaning back into the head and shoulders, and from here, we're going to choose a half bind for your left hand. Bring it around the back and try to bring it to the top of the right hip. Coming into the half bind, making sure it feels okay for your shoulder. If you want to go into a full bind from here, you can drop that right shoulder a little lower and then take that right arm from underneath the leg and then link hands together behind you. Paying attention to where your chest is facing here. If your chest starts to rotate completely down towards the floor, it's a good indication that perhaps you want to stay in the side angle without the full bind. Just make sure there's lots of space, your breath isn't impeded in any way. 
your legs still feel strong and there's space. Start to release out of your binds. Reaching the hands up and away from each other as you push into the legs, rise up. Bring the hands onto the waist and we're going to lift that front toes and then pivoting on the heel, bring both feet to be parallel, facing in the same direction. Setting up for your wide-legged forward fold. Tailbone reaching down, inhale, lengthen your spine and then exhale, leading with your chest and your chin, hinging at the hips and folding forward. You can reach the hands down towards the floor, coming into your Prasarita Parottarasana. Maybe walking the hands a little closer towards the heels if you want to intensify the stretch. But what I want you to really focus on here is keeping that shape in your spine to be nice and long without letting it curve at the lower or mid back. Keeping the stretch in the back of your thighs, maybe even the inner thighs as well. If you want to separate the feet out a little wider, you can. Feel the weight shifting forward into your toes, not resting back in the heels. And starting to come out of your chosen variation. Hands are underneath the face, both feet are planted on the mat, pressing down through the outer edges. Now starting with your right foot first, or rather the left foot first, on the exhale, go ahead and start to bend into your foot and then walk the hands towards that foot, framing the foot. Then on the inhale, come back to center and exhale, go the other side. Now continue going at your own pace, inhale to center, exhale to bend. And to start off here, let's keep the bottom of the extended leg's foot pressing down. So we're not picking up that foot just yet, keeping it down so the ankle can get a nice mobility exercise as well. Not letting your pace quicken, not letting gravity take over, still moving with the breath. Inhale, come back to center, exhale the other side. And even though we are using our hands for a little bit of support, they're not there for weight bearing. So you don't want to let your core just relax here. You're still keeping the chest lifted, the spine long. And the next time you bend your right knee, we'll pause there. And then start to turn your body to face forward, picking up the back heel. We're in our lunge. And then you walk the left hand on the inside of the right foot. If you want to drop the back knee down for this, you can. We're going to open the chest and rotate it to the side and reach the right arm to the ceiling. Again, if you want to pop up onto your fingertips, you can. If you want to choose a half bind option with your right hand coming around the back to your left hip press, you can do that. And not letting your right knee open way out to the side. So still keeping it scissoring back in towards the middle. Nice steady gaze, wherever that may be. both hands to frame the foot, picking up the back knee if it's down, step back from here and transition your way into downward dog. You want to keep that leg lifted, lift it nice and high, lower down with control on the exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chest and exhale to downward facing dog. Taking a couple of easy breaths here, making your downward dog feel restorative. to lift the left leg, bend the knee, pointing the left toes, begin to rotate that hip. As the right knee, as the left heel reaches higher, the right heel reaches down. Feel both of your arms working here as the hands press down evenly. And as you inhale, square the hips, on the exhale, swing your leg forward, bringing the foot between the hands. From here, setting up for side angle, your left hand comes on the inside of the leg, we ground into the back heel, and then open the chest to the side, reaching up through the right hand. Try to draw the shoulders away from the ears with that top hand, bring it around the back into a half bun. 
You may be choosing the left or the full bind option if you like. And then you have the option to put the stack that right shoulder over the left and keep leaning back the head towards the midline of your body. in the same direction. Setting up for your wide-legged forward fold on the other side. Take an inhale to lengthen, keeping the feet nice and strong as you begin to fold forward. Option to reach the hands down. If you like to come into an inversion here, you can work towards that. If you want to work towards an arm balance, you can also choose to come into crow from here. Feeling like a chest opener, you can bring the hands together behind the back, interlace the fingers, and lift the hands up overhead as your head reaches down. Keeping the weight shifting forward onto your toe mounts, keeping the seat lifting up and away. Coming back to your breath, maybe your attention. to come out of your chosen variation, bringing your hands underneath the face, feet are back down, and then starting with your right foot, walking the hands towards that foot. This time if you like, you can pick up the toes of the straight leg and flex them back towards you, and then bringing them down as you switch over to the other side. So we're doing the same side to side movement, maybe just taking the opportunity to go a little bit deeper if your hips and hamstrings feel Take the back knee off if it's down, and then step back from here. Transition your way through with your breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, lift the chest, back bend, and exhale, lift the seat, down dog. On the inhale, bend knees, look ahead. And as you exhale, make your way to the front of your mat. Coming up halfway as you inhale. And then releasing back down. As you breathe in, lift up. Reach through your fingers, loop through your feet. And exhale, bring your hands down through chest center. Shake it out. If you'd like to grab some water, let's go ahead and take a quick break. toes together, the heels slightly apart, finding your balance in both feet, bringing the palms together at chest center, and from here we 
you start to bend at the knees and sit back into a chair. As you sit into a chair, we're gonna begin to twist towards the right side. So reach your left elbow across the body. And first, we'll just reach it across, not worry about pressing the arm against the leg. As you reach across, look down, make sure both of your knees are still together. If the left knee has shifted forward, just pull that hip back so both knees are in alignment. Now keeping your legs as they are, just reach a little further and press that left arm against the outer thigh, going a little deeper into that twist. All right, let's fix your gaze somewhere where it's not moving. We're gonna shift weight onto the right foot and then see if we can take that left heel off and then maybe the foot comes off. Now from here, we're gonna take that leg and step back. You can make that happen in one go, maybe a few steps, all good. From here, let's go ahead and drop the back knee once you're there. All right, once you're here, back knee can be down or let's bring it down and then reach the right hand up and reach the left hand down. And you might need to take your arm and take it a little further down on the outside of your thigh and then have the left hand on the outside of your right leg and the right hand reaching up. So very similar to what we did earlier where we came into the revolve twist with the hand on the inside of the leg. This time we're trying to go for it on the outside of the leg. If the outside of the leg feels like it's not happening right now, just go back to the inside and that's all good. If you're comfortable with the hand on the outside, your right hand reaching up, you can bring that top hand into a half bind. Now here's where if you want to go further, you can pick up the back leg. And if your left hand's on the outside, you can come into a full bind with that left hand reaching from underneath and then linking together below the pelvis. Again, listen to your breath, listen to your body. Make sure your shoulders feel good, there's space. And then we start to release out of the pose, just like we came into it. Bring both hands down as you face forward. Maybe not exactly how we came into it, but we'll get there. So we're gonna lift up, bring the palms together at chest center. We're gonna take the back knee off the mat. And then twisting to your right side one more time. Reaching that left elbow on the outside of your right thigh. Now we're gonna pick up that back leg, and if you wanna add a balancing pose here, you can lift the back leg, let it float for a moment for your Revolve Warrior three variation. When you're ready, step that foot to the top of the mat and go ahead and come out of the twist. So now you're facing forward, your knees are squeezing together, hands are together at chest center. Nice. On the next inhale, push through your legs, come up. Let's shake it out, nicely done. That's one side done, we'll move on to the other side. Big toes touching, heels slightly apart. Lift the toes, spread them, lay them back down. Nice and steady with your feet, palms together, chest center. And then bending your knees as you come into Utkatasana. squeezing together, keeping the torso long. On the exhale from here, just reach your right elbow across the body. Reach in across. Make sure your knees are side by side. Pull the right hip back if you need to. And then keeping that space, just have your right arm reach a little further across and press against the left thigh. Finding your way into the twist. Top hand pushing down into the bottom hand, thumbs moving towards the chest center. All right, let's shift your gaze down towards the mat. As you shift your weight onto the left foot, pick up the right heel. Again, moving in stages. As you feel ready, picking up the right foot entirely, pointing the toes. And then from this flamingo variation, we step that right leg back. And then go ahead and ground the right knee. Sinking low through your pelvis. Let's reach your left hand up as you reach your right arm further across, and then the hand reaches down towards the floor. Again, you might find that this side feels a little different. So check in with how it feels here. With your left hand reaching up, you can bring it around the back into a half bind. Let's keep that right arm 
really pushing against the inner thigh if you want to go further from here. Picking up the back knee, scissoring into the hips, and then maybe that right hand can lift and go for that full bind option. And keep in mind that binds are always optional. center, back toes are tucked, lift the right hip off the mat, scissor the hips, inhale, lengthen the torso, exhale, twist, and then press that right arm against the left leg one more time. Now from here we're going to start to transition, walking the right foot a little closer, and then lifting it up off the mat, stepping it forward in one go, or pausing in the middle. As you Bring both feet together, come out of a twist, sit into the chair, squeeze the knees, reach your tailbone down, lift the chest, breathe in here and smile, and then push through the heels, come all the way up, and let's shake out the legs. Probably feeling a little bit of a burn there, quads are working, some lactic acid built up, grab some water if you need to. Downward dog. And from your downward dog, as you exhale, we're going to bring your knees down onto the mat. We're going to bring the knees together. Let's be on the tops of our feet. Feet are together. Follow me here. Walk the hands back, setting up into Vajrasana, sitting on your shins. As you sit on the shins, let your seat be heavy, resting on your heels. If this is uncomfortable, you can tuck your toes under, make this a little bit more accessible. Or maybe double up on the mat between the crease of your calf and thighs. Once you're here, take an inhale, keep the spine lifted, and exhale to reach your right fingertips behind you, left hand going across to your opposite leg, keeping your torso long, begin to twist as you exhale, look past the shoulder. Careful not to let your tailbone arch here, keeping it reaching down. Exhale, lean back a little further, plant your right palm down, and as you push into the hand, lift the seat up, and reach your left hand up and across towards the back right corner. As you move the seat away from the body, the chest twists open to the side. Coming back to center. To, reaching your left hand behind the back, staying propped up on the fingertips, right hand on the opposite knee. Inhale to get taller, exhale to twist. Letting your eyes take you further with each exhale. And letting the spine grow taller with every inhale.
as you exhale, start to lean back, planting your left palm firmly down onto the mat, and then pushing into that hand, lift the seat up, and reach the right arm up and across towards the back left corner of your room. As you take your seat away from the body, really feel that stretch moving across, down the right side. Slowly turning your body to face forward. And you're leaning forward onto your hands. Let's tap out the feet. tucking your toes under, sitting back. Let's try to lean back a little further here. For this, I want you to keep your core nice and strong. Feel your tailbone reaching forward towards the knees, that low belly pulls in. And as you lean back, maybe you use the support of your hands to take the knees off the mat a few inches. Let them hover. And you can walk the hands a little further back. Fingers facing forward. Try to take the knees away from your shoulders. Try to extend. Maybe the head drops back a little bit. And then start to lift your chest, bringing your knees up a little bit more. From here, bring the hands in front of you. And we're going to open out the knees. So from your knees being together or almost together, open the knees out hands in front of you and let's press the inner thighs against the back of the arms so we're going to set up for crow or arm balance this is optional if you want to you can go all the way into it if you just want to test it out start off with your elbows pushing against your inner thigh and calf muscles and then start to lean forward keep your torso long keep your gaze ahead and as you start to feel that transfer weight happen between your feet and hands you can pick up one foot off the mat, maybe both feet if you feel comfortable, pointing your toes. And keep in mind that's a transfer of weight and not so much about muscling your way into this. Just allow that transfer to happen from the feet into the hands and then using your fingertips like brakes. If you go too far forward, push into them and they'll rock you back. Keeping your leg muscles active here as you, as you squeeze around the upper arm Keeping a nice steady breath. And then when you feel ready, we're gonna come from here into Malasana. So you're gonna plant the feet down, have your toes turning out 45 degrees, and then sink back into the seat, lifting the hands off the mat, palms together at chest center. And we're in our Malasana. As you find comfort here, make sure knees and toes are facing in the same direction. You're gonna take your right hand across in front of your right toes, open the chest and reach back with your left arm. Open across the wingspan, taking a half bind option if you want to, maybe a full bind if you like. Make sure the weight stays balanced between both feet. Broadening across the chest, nice and heavy on the seat, and easy with your breath. Breathe deep into the belly. Starting to release out of the bind options. Turning your body to face forward. Switching hands, left hand reaches across, we open the chest and reach the right arm back. Choosing how far you want to go. You don't have to force your body into the same shape that you chose for the last side, it could be different here, that's all good. Keeping your breath steady. Start to release as you bring the hands behind the body, bring the seat onto the mat, walk the feet mat width distance, and let's windshield wiper. Your legs have worked hard today, giving them a bit of a respite here, rocking side to side. And then coming back to center, let's walk your feet hip width distance. We're gonna take the hands behind the body, fingers facing away from you. And then as you bend the elbows, lean back, picking up the right foot, 
bring the shin onto the left thigh, flexing your right ankle and toes. Start to drag that left foot closer to the body as you push into the hands, lift the chest, bring it closer towards your right shin. Begin to rotate that hip externally as you feel the knee moving away from the body, you feel that foot coming closer. If you wanna drag your left foot a little closer to you can, press into the arm so your chest is lifted. And if you want to, you can lift the seat as well, coming into figure four, reverse tabletop variation. Your seat is off the mat, start to bring it back down here. And from here, we're gonna just straighten out the left leg and straighten it onto the mat, bringing your hands onto that right leg. You're gonna hold the right foot and rotate the ankle, maybe adding a little bit of gentle pressure with your right arm pressing against the inner hip, taking the ankle in both directions. All right, let's release the foot and go ahead and plant it down on the outside of your leg. Setting up for a twist from here. If you wanna keep your left leg straight, you can. If you wanna lean over onto your left side and bend that left knee so both of your knees are bent together, you can take that option as well, whichever feels better for your hips today. From here, setting up into your twist, we're gonna take that right hand back and reach up through your left hand, nice and high. Exhale, pull it across. Now, since we've been working a little bit on binds today, you can go ahead and choose a binding option in this pose as well, where your right hand goes across towards your left hip crest, and maybe that left hand reaches from underneath and links together. Maybe it happens, maybe it doesn't, but it does tend to intensify the stretch even as you make your way towards that variation. And make sure that your seat is grounded, your knees are happy with you, feeling tall in your chest and breathing deeply. Start to release out of the bind option. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist open to the other side for a counter twist. And then inhale, come back to center, lean back, walk the feet mat width distance and let's wish your wiper. With your feet hip width distance apart, hands behind the body, fingers facing away from you. As you lean back, bend the elbows, lift the left foot, shin on the right thigh, dragging that right foot closer, lifting your chest, and rotating your left hip. Let that knee move away from you while the foot comes closer. And breathing into this stretch. If you wanna add the hip lift, Pressing your shin against the thigh in any of the options. Start to lower your seat down onto the mat, straightening out the right leg, and then grabbing hold of the left foot with your right and rotating the ankle. down on the outside of your right thigh, setting up for your twist with your right leg straight or bent, your choice. Let's take the left hand behind the back, reaching your right arm up, this big inhale, exhale, pull it across and twist. Paying attention to the sides of your torso here as well, not letting them collapse. It's maintaining that height, that lift from your seat all the way to the top of the head. And then from here, if you feel like binding, you can go ahead and make your way towards that variation. You wanna feel ease, you wanna feel comfort, no straining, no pushing. The muscles in your face are and relax, start to take it. Come out of the binds, inhale to face forward, exhale to twist in the opposite direction. Inhale, coming back, 
lean back. Uncross the legs, feet are mountain width distance. Let's release the hips out. Awesome. From here, straighten the legs out in front of you. Setting up into a Dandasana, flexing the ankle and toes back towards you. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. And as you exhale, hinge from the hips, folding forward and grabbing hold of your feet, your ankles, your calf muscles, whatever is available and pulling your chest and chin forward. Maybe the knees are a little bit bent if your hamstrings are feeling tight. So you can maintain that length through the back body. Again, you wanna feel the muscles in your face relax. Rounded onto the mat to push the back of the knees down, lift the arms overhead, and then easing your weight down onto the mat. Control, laying the spine down, finding support for your shoulders, for the head, and letting the arms rest beside the body. Let's take the feet a little wider apart, mat with distance. The arms are open beside you, or maybe they're resting on the chest and belly. Find that comfortable position, close the eyes. And let your shoulders, your lower back, and your hips sink into the mat. Feeling your legs getting heavier. You soften the back of the knees. And relax the ankles and toes. Feeling your breath, your heartbeat slowing down and soften the throat, relaxing the jaw, soften the cheeks and the eyes,
wrists, towards the center of your body. together, pointing your toes, extending the arms overhead, inhale to reach, get a little taller, fill that space that you've created in the body, and as you exhale, relax, taking that space with you. Spin the left hand onto the belly button. 